evening session here on the bay. We just got done with all the Warbaits online orders and shipped a few store orders. How to get out of the shop to go fishing. It's 6.30 right now. The tide is just starting to go up. So I think there's gonna be a nice tide swing right before sundown. I got about an hour to fish. So let's get to it. Got a taker there, working on that evening bite here. Keep that line tight. Make sure they don't fall off. Yeah. There we go, we got one taker here, A-Rig. This is that standard five arm A-Rig. Yeah. Nice little spotty to start it off. Feels really good to get that bite. It's been a long day at work, so it's good to come out and actually catch one. Hopefully we can get more than one here. That's the goal. There we go. Dude. Got a rod bender here. I like that. Oh, nice. Look at that one. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Dude, nice one. Solid spotty. We're doing what we should be doing getting two. <laughs> oh, that's awesome <laughs> there we go two spotty is feeling good about that this one's got a ragged tail he needs to grow up a little bit get stronger <laughs> let him go oh he came back for it dude on the pause Hit it on the pause. I got ripped. Little monster. <laughs> That's one thing with bay bass. If you get bit, just keep on winding. Keep on turning the handle of the reel. They want to chase it down. So if they get onto it, you got to keep giving it to them at that speed. They'll want to eat it. were poking me in the foot and the A-Rig was poking me in the hand. <laughs> nice little spotty. All right, sun is just about down and still cracking on him a bit. I'm gonna give the A-Rig a little bit more time and then once the sun drops, I'll probably change baits a little bit. I don't know if they're gonna eat the A-Rig at night, so I'll try a different, uh, a little slower presentation. All right, guys, I'm gonna rack the A-Rig. I didn't get any bites on that last drift. I'm gonna put it up and find a different bait that's a little slower and lower. And maybe I can get a couple more bites before we call it a night. Oh my God, guys, no way. You guys won't believe what I just got bit on. <laughs> oh, good one too. <laughs> oh, we smoked it, dude, he smoked it. 
Look at this, neck breaker, neck breaker. Check out this bait. There it is right there. Getting bit on the trolling squid. <laughs> I hooked this squid up to the neck breaker, dude. Awesome. Hey, that's a nice spotty pump to get one like that. Especially on this little bait. I mean, I didn't think I'd get bit, but man. Hey, everything eats squid. <laughs> All right, cool. Nice one. That was a really solid fish. And here's what that bait looks like. I mean, this is what I'm fishing right here. I, I bet these eyes glow in the dark too. Someone gave me these little squids. I believe they're just trolling squids or something. I don't know, but I hooked it up to the neck breaker. Obviously, it's working. Let's try it again. Tide is absolutely ripping right now. I do have my drift sock out, but that's more for a wind. It's more of a wind, a wind shoot, wind sock. But I'm with the tide right now, and I'm just flying. So I'm going to fish through a little bit right here, and then I'm going to pick up and do this whole line over again, hopefully get another nice bite. Sun is down, so we're in a new world now, new world of fishing. Fish kind of like it a little slower and lower uh, in the evening time, in the nighttime. These fish do at least, they don't really want it moving as fast. Oh, dude, no way. Got one. <laughs> on the squid. On the squid. Nighttime squid biter. <laughs> That was cool to get one. I'd already missed one bite. You cut out. Ow! Ow. <laughs> you kind of have to be quick when they when they bite it. Let's get this guy back in here. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Nice spotty. Squid lips himself. <laughs> to be quick on the hook set when they bite it. Cause it's a hollow piece. It's not it's not like plastic where they can kind of gum into it. I think they bite it and they know it's fake and let go pretty quick but I got them that time. <laughs> Let's continue the drift and maybe we'll pick up another one. Oh yeah, there he is. Dude! It's such a different bite. It's a different bite. I think it's like they slurp it up. It's not like they pound it. It's not like a swim bait or something kind of just slurped it but it just felt different you know just felt heavy so another one nighttime squid <laughs> there he goes another one small guy but good to get one hey I like it <laughs> so right now I'm just charging the eyes up on the light these eyes do glow, so maybe that's what they're keyed in on. They just, they're like, oh, squid, glowing eyes, got to eat it. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's glowing. Oh my gosh, dude. That was it, the next cast out. And as soon as it landed, dude, no way. This is crazy. Oh, this is a fat one, too. Look at that one. Dude, he was so plugged. He was spitting up something. But look how big his stomach is. <laughs> what? He he choked it too. This guy's a squid guy. This guy's that type of squid kind of guy. There he is. Squid guy himself. Big belly. Look at that belly, dude. What in the world? Oh. I don't think they like getting caught at night very much. <laughs> You're like, what in the world is happening? Just getting yanked out of my, yanked out of my life. So with that neck breaker, it's just totally weedless through this eelgrass. Plus that plastic on that squid is pretty hard. So the hook really is not moving in or out at any point. And that's several fish and I think that squid is doing pretty good. Really a no action bait. It's just, it's a squid with tentacles, so. They're keyed in on it somehow. It's doing something for them. They could be feeling the micro vibrations of the tentacles moving in the water. A lot of it will have to do with the neck breaker head. It's a head down and then the body can move freely in the current. 
and then also we have those glowing eyes so I'm gonna charge them up a bit see if we can't make another cast and get one all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and call it right here it's about nine o'clock at night and I gotta get home <laughs> but that was a fun two and a half hours of fishing if you guys want to get out after work do it got to recharge the batteries sometimes get that inside feeling much better there's many ways to do it but fishing fishing is definitely one of them I want to thank you guys for joining me on this journey and thanks for all the support you're giving the channel and warbase.com as well yeah we're, we're busy every day so it's a uh, it's a blessing I'm, I'm very happy and thankful for all the orders you guys put through Right now we have a small crew and everybody loves their job. Everybody loves seeing all the names come through and get the orders out. We like seeing the Instagrams, the YouTube videos and all the posts, even the TikToks. <laughs> Thanks for showing off all your catches and the way you rig the baits as well. <laughs> Speaking of which, let me go ahead and show you guys what I used to get bit today. That neck breaker and squid setup was an extremely effective bait for my nighttime presentation. I had this squid plastic pinned on a Warbaits neck breaker in 3 8 ounce. That was perfect for that 10 foot zone I was fishing. The neck breaker is extremely weedless, so it was able to get through that grass without getting hung up. And for the squid trailer, a friend gave me these baits quite a while ago. So I figured this was the perfect time to bring it out. This is a four inch plastic with glowing eyes. And I did some research on the internet looking for this exact squid, but I couldn't find it. I did find a good looking alternative. I'll put that in the description below so you guys can click on that and see if you like it. Definitely a good little night bite with this bait. And for that A-Rig, this is the Warbait's five arm A-Rig. And I had it rigged up with five swim bait heads in bishop color. And the plastics are Z-Man in the hot snake color. I do super glue the baits onto the heads. And I do like these Z-Mans because they can get multiple bites without the plastic being torn up and shredded and have to change baits often. This particular setup has had many outings and I haven't had to change one bait yet. Hopefully something in this video inspired you guys to get out there and go fishing because it's needed for the soul. So get out there, go fishing, hook that giant.